We're here. <laughs> and I did a bad thing. Um, so yeah, I destroyed my hair. I already cried. And now I'm going to go see how I can fix it. Obviously, I can't make it longer weave i'm not gonna get a weave okay i gotta live with my decisions uh, anyways <laughs> we're here and i mean i mean it doesn't look bad i just wish it was just like like a smidge longer because it's just too short like i wanted it here and then like this. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, I did a thing and it was bad it was bad I should have stopped but I didn't so we're here and I mean there's nothing much I could do and I mean it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look good so today's video is me trying to save what I've done. I'm a try. I'm a try. I'm a look pretty because Christmas is tomorrow, and I'm gonna look like this for Christmas. Okay, like it's not horrible, but it's not good. Like these bangs are too long. I can't see. They're in my eyes. So I gotta put them like this, which isn't horrible either. But like, I'm very sad. So, let's uh, try to save this. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. I'm Why? crying. So, I'm going to do a little bit of my makeup so that I don't look horrendous. And I'm trying to find a bow. Because it would totally look super cute with a bow on, but I don't know where any of my bows are. This is fun though. Go like this. It's fun. So stay tuned. Don't yeah, and I gotta go fix my nail. It broke. <laughs> so life is going great. I'm having a good time. It's awesome. I'm it's great. Isn't life great? Okay, so apparently I'm a complete idiot who doesn't know how to record YouTube videos. Um, so I did my eyes already. And I don't like them, but whatever. I don't, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna keep it it's yellow. I used the um, Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetic Palette. The mini palette, this is mini. This is the Robin Hood palette. And I used this one, this one, and this one. These three right here. But I didn't want green. So I'm trying different things, you know, because I always do the same thing. So let me just do my eyeliner, do my lashes, some lips, maybe. And then we're going to head out to the salon. Um. So you're probably asking, what happened? Like, what possessed me to do such a thing to my hair? And let me tell you, I was hanging out with my friend and I had previously mentioned to my mother that I wanted bangs. Expecting her to be like, Meh, no, we're not gonna do it. And like, you know, that's 
all it takes for you to screw your head on right and be like, yeah, that's a stupid idea, you know? It's a stupid idea. But no. She was like, me too. I'm thinking of also doing my bang, giving myself a fringe, however you call it, in your world. And since my mom didn't disapprove, I was like, then maybe it's not such a horrible idea. Um, so, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I was left alone in the house and my friend was over. So I was like, hey, she's cut her hair. She's always been the one to cut her own hair. And like cutting my hair is at least $50 when I just do the tips. Right? So I'm like, I'm gonna save some money. money. She knows how to cut hair. So I'm gonna let her cut my hair. So that is what I did. And that was my mistake. Of course, I don't blame her. I'm not mad at her. Because she just did what I asked. But. Like, so when she cut my fringe, my bang, my hair was dry and straight already. And I thought uh, we were, you know, going to end there. I thought, no, this, this is good enough. Like, look, this is great. It's fine. Like, it's perfect. Whatever. I'm not mad at that. But then I washed my hair because I was covered in hair and then it was like because my hair was, was like down to like the middle of my back so i was like now the fringe just looks a little bit weird you know i want layers going down and maybe maybe like it ends here like at my shoulders right so it was like hey You're just gonna cut a little bit off the top, do a little layering. It's fine. My hair was wet. So she was like, okay, well, I don't want it to be uneven and I don't want it to, you know, just, I don't know, since there's shrinkage, she's like, I'm gonna cut it as best as I can. But apparently my hair had no sh shrinkage. Like it wasn't shrunk. It was fine. So we ended here. And that is the tragic story of how I lost my hair. <laughs> I should have stopped while I was ahead. I should have just been like, oh, this is good enough. I'll get the the important part cut off by a professional. But like I said before, it costs a lot of money. So in the midst of being a cheapskate, I cut my hair really short. And now I have to live with it for at least, I'd say six months because apparently your hair takes six months to grow a full foot, I think. I don't know. I'm like, I was really sad about it because my hair is like, 
I don't know. <sighs> I feel like I look very pretty because of my hair. But now that I basically don't have it, I have to learn to love myself for me. And honestly, I'm not that bad. I'm really not. Like, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been here if there was actual shrinkage. <laughs> And of course when I curl my hair is gonna be a little shorter, but it could be a lot worse. I could still do things with it. I could still tie it up. I'm still very hot, <laughs> like heat, like not <laughs> attractiveness. I mean like heat wise, I'm still very, <sighs> it still heats my neck. It makes me sweat, but other than that, it's could have been a lot worse. Could have and it didn't and I'm grateful. Like yeah, the layers are horrible. <laughs> but we're here and I'ma go fix it. So let's go. That was a horrible transition. Horrible. Oh wait, before I leave, I forgot my blush. I'm using the, okay, so for the eyeliner, I used the Stilla. I love this eyeliner. And I also used the Stilla for the lashes. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It says Stilla there. I don't know. It says Stilla Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Um... And then for blush, I'm going to use the Cab Cabana Boy. The vintage blushy look. Just to add some color to my very, very sad face. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, my nose. Oh. Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands. That was horrible. But yeah. Life is going great. It's great. I love it. It's so much fun. Okay, so here is an OOTD outfit of the day. It's a sweater dress with stockings and Timberlands yes oh, those are my other socks ignore those I was choosing between these and those but those have a red bow so that was a no so yeah this is my OOTD I look nice I think oh, those are from the pants under ignore that um but yes this is my OOTD. That's my closet. Ignore my closet. Um. Cheaters. This is my cheater book back there. I'm not going to write here. I don't get it. I'm sure you don't. I'm back from the salon and. Da -da 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 -da. I did nothing to it. <laughs> so, I did go to the salon. But the nail salon, look at these nails, they're so pretty. But it was a really long wait. And while I was waiting for my nails, I started thinking that like, I could go to the salon and like probably fix it but all they're gonna do is cut it more and like I've already accepted that this is my hair and like it's not that bad okay granted it's a bit uneven in some areas but hey I have to live with my decision and the only reason I was really upset about my hair was because I use my hair as like a as a like safety blanket basically it's like my hair was my safety blanket 
and my safety blanket was chopped off, literally. And through the course of the day, I developed a bump, but I'm gonna make myself cry. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I'm okay with my hair now. Like I walked all day. I was outside all day with my hair like this and nobody was looking at me weird and nobody said anything. Like I saw people that I knew and I have glitter all over my face. Um, and they didn't say anything. They were like, oh wow, nice. Nice change. New year, new you. And like, honestly, new year, new me. And like throughout the whole day, I was like, oh my God, things are so much easier. Like, like putting on a hoodie, I don't have to freaking shove my hair into the hoodie. I just put it on and it's on. And like, it's not that bad. It really isn't. It's, it's like, it's obviously hard because it's different and change is scary, but I'm gonna get over it, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I decided not to do anything. I'm gonna rock my bob <laughs> and it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a pixie cut. I could have had no hair, but here we are. And like, I'm having so much fun because it's so much easier to just talk. It's a lot easier to talk with my hair. And it's fun and it's great and it's new and whatever. It's scary, but like, what is life without change, honestly? If we were all living in a very mundane, world I'd probably shoot myself so try new things they go wrong but it's not forever unless unless you kill somebody that's forever <laughs> that got morbid but <laughs> there are some things that are forever but then there are other things that are not forever like your hair your hair is not going to stay this length my hair is not going to stay this length forever. So, um, yeah, try new things, do stuff, figure yourself out. Most things are reversible, okay? Like Botox, that's kind of reversible. Kind of, only kind of. And I'm not saying that's something I'm going to do with. I already got big lips, okay? Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to do stuff. So I guess this is a good teaching moment for me and for you guys. I learned, don't let your friend cut your hair. No matter how often they cut their own hair, don't let them cut your hair. And two, and you, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Next lesson is try new things. Things go wrong. That's okay. It comes back. At least you'll say that you did it. That's awesome. This is one thing to add, check off my bucket list. Because it was either this or go bald. And honestly, I'm quite happy that I did this instead. So. Oh, <laughs> oh,